Hello and thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Pickleball Pick Apart. My name is Rory. I take pickleball games off of YouTube and I critique the play on the court. Watching my videos will help make you a better pickleball player. In this game, a very fun match where just a few small things make a difference. So check it out and let's go. First, thanks to the YouTube channel, we play You Rate Pickleball for the video. In this game, in the near court, Nick and Tyler right here is not quite in the picture. In the far court, Gil and David. I mentioned small things can make a difference, so I'm going to point those things out so you can learn from watching them. The first thing I want to point out that is a small thing is the way that Tyler is holding his paddle. Look at this right here. This is not how I hold my paddle. I use a continental grip. This is not a continental grip. Tyler has his hand as far up on the paddle as he can possibly get it. His index finger is lying on the back of the paddle. Uh, basically what this means is that he could be playing with a paddle that does not have a handle. And the, yes, there are actually paddles out there that you can buy that have no handle. So the way I hold the paddle opposed to this is the butt of the paddle is in the fat part of my hand. Uh, if you look at this, I'm going to try to forward it just a little bit more. You can kind of see it here. There's probably about two, two and a half inches that are sticking out beyond Tyler's hand. Again, I'm not saying this is a bad way to hold a pa paddle. It's just not the way that I do and it is not the favored way to do so. I think the majority of players hold a paddle with a continental grip. If you're not sure of what a continental grip is, just Google it and you will be able to find out. But more likely, you're holding the paddle with a continental grip. And I'll try to show you exactly what it looks like uh, because that is the way that Nick holds his paddle. So far, a very, very fine point and just a great shot by Nick right down the line. That's a fantastic third shot drop by Nick. He is a very good player. I'm kind of surprised that David was able to put that away. Maybe it bounced up a little bit higher than I thought it was going to, but a nice job by David. That's a very nice serve right down the middle of the court. And Nick just misses the backhand. He hits it into the net. Nice return. This point should be over. Oh, he allowed Gill and David to get back in the point when he had them pushed back. This is how pickleball is meant to be played. These are very good players. Oh, a little surprise attack by Nick. Gill popped it up and it was put away. So let's take a look right here at Nick's hand on his paddle right here. You see how it's all the way down to the bottom of the handle, whereas Nick's hand is all the way up on the paddle. Just two totally different grips, a continental grip. Nick has a, I mean, Tyler has a grip that is kind of like a ping pong grip. Again, I'm not saying it's a bad way to hold a paddle, but I much prefer this way uh, that Nick is holding his. That's a nice return. Oh, it gets the roll of the tape. Add it again. I'm going to stop it right here for just a second, and I want to show you another thing that does make a difference. Look where David is holding his paddle. He is holding it right at his knees. For that matter, Gil is kind of doing the same thing. Look where Nick's paddle is. It is up and out in front of him. I know you can't see it, but believe me, it is. On the other hand, Tyler has his paddle at his knees as well. They are right here vol uh, dinking back and forth. And it just takes a lot longer to get a paddle from the knees to right here if a ball is hit here. 
as opposed to having a paddle being held right here and moving it over. So this is very poor paddle position by David and by Tyler as well. And you saw what happened right there. The ball was hit right here to Tyler. He had to move his paddle from his knees up. He was not able to do it. If he would have had the paddle up in front of him, all he would have had to have done was move the paddle over, and he may have got that shot back. It also looked like that ball was going out of the um, out of the court. Don't forget, if it's shoulder high or if it's at your eyes, let it fly. So I just wanted to point out the poor paddle position by David and Tyler. Um, again, it may make a difference in this match. Nice get by Nick. And a really nice shot by David. He's doing a little thing that does make a difference. Let me show you what it is, is he is putting top spin when he hits the shot on his forehand and it's making the ball dive down. He does that uh, both uh, shots that he hits right here. There it is once and here it is twice. Just an excellent job by David to put top spin on the ball. If you can put top spin on the ball like that, it will affect the path of your ball and it is very, very effective. That time Gil tried it and he knocked it right into the net. Nice, deep. Sir, look at that, third shot drop. That is just very, very good pickleball. Nick is an excellent player, and the unforced error by Gill. That's an unforced error by David. Now, I told you his paddle position was important and that sooner or later it was going to cost him a point. And I think it happened on this point. Let's go back and take a look. Did you see where his paddle was? I'm going to show it one more time, maybe back it up to right here. All right. So here comes the shot. Look where well, it's going to be the next shot. Now, look where David's paddle is. It's at his knees. The ball is hit about right here. He has to move his paddle from his knees to right here. He's not able to do it in time. Well, he kind of does, but he hits it directly into the net. Again, if his paddle would have been up by his chin and out in front of him, he could have gotten to that ball much quicker. So watch what happens. Here it is. Boom. He just cannot do it. I know this is a very, very little thing, but always try to keep your paddle out in front of you and by your chin. And that's just an unforced error to the net. Now here's something else that is very small, but it's something that Gil has done twice now, and both times he has hit the shot into the net. That is, he has tried to put slice spin on the ball when it really is not necessary, causing him to make two unforced errors. Let's go back and take a look. So here comes the shot right here. He's going to take it out of the air. Look how far back Tyler is. He has not advanced. So all Gil really has to do is just pop the ball over the net into the kitchen. That would bring... Tyler up, maybe he could get to the shot, maybe he couldn't, but instead Gill puts slice spin on the ball and hits it into the net. Again, I don't think it's necessary to put that spin on the ball to win this point. We'll never know because he hit it into the net. Now that ball is hit into the net. Why? Well, the return was hit rather shallow and Tyler is moving forward instead of having his feet set when he hits the ball. We're going to go back and take a look at this. And again, this is a small thing, but when you hit the ball, your feet have got to be set. If you are moving forward when you are hitting it, a lot of the times you will hit it into the net just like Tyler did. Again, he was not expecting this shallow of a return, but he should have adjusted to it and he just did not. Here we go. Moving forward. See, he's still moving forward. His feet are not set when he hits the ball, and he hits it right into the net. Try to establish yourself, get both feet planted, then hit the ball. Don't hit the ball when you are moving forward. 
Oh, got the roll of the tape. That happens that time in favor of Nick and David. Nice serve. Great return. And a fantastic third shot. That is a very hard shot to pull off. But David pulled it off without any problem. He put some top spin on it. That was just, that's the shot of the game right there. All right, watch what happens. Here's another little thing. Um, this is actually kind of weird what Tyler did. I don't understand why he did it. I think he's trying to explain it to uh, Nick because it's just so strange. Let's go back and take a look. Here's the shot. Here's the return. Now, I want you to watch what Tyler does. Instead of moving straight up to the non-volley zone, he runs into Nick's court. I think what he thought was, for some reason, Nick was going to move all the way over here. So Tyler was going to run into this court. I think maybe it was just a miscommunication because this is really strange. Watch what Tyler does. Look where he is. It's like, oh, wait a minute. I'm screwing up here. Now this court right here is just way open. They see this. They're going to hit the ball here. But the truth is, it's another one of those shots that Tyler hits when the ball was going out. I'm about 100% sure that ball was going to go out. And Tyler is explaining to Nick what he did and the mistake he made by running into Nick's court. They're laughing about it. I mean... It's late in the evening. They've probably been playing all day. They're having fun, so good for them. And uh, David just hits that backhand into the net. He was laughing about it. Maybe that caused him to make such a poor shot. Nice reset. Nice. This is what pickleball is all about. Let's see what Nick is going to do here. They keep hitting it to him. Oh, he tried a sneak attack on Gil. It didn't work. Oh, and David hits it into the net. Oh, and uh, Nick was having to retreat to defend, getting in a defensive position. He never had to because David hit it into the net. I think, again, it's getting late. Maybe they're getting a little tired. Probably earlier in the day, David would not have done that. There's that top spin that David puts on the ball, hit it right at Nick. Nick popped it out of the court. So a nice job by David. Again, a very fun match. The score is tied 5-5. Five to five. Just missed it. Nice drop. I mean, Nick is really good. Uh, David kind of saw an opening down the line and missed the shot. And now this time, Nick misses the backhand and he's got his hands on his hips. Saying, oh my goodness, what did I do there? Oh, just excellent placement by Nick. Again, they're laughing, having a good time. I think they're kind of just waiting for this to game for this game to be over and to go home. Yeah, the unforced errors are becoming more fre frequent. Five out of the last six exchanges have ended in an unforced error. So I think they're just getting kind of worn down. But I hope you're enjoying watching the match. These are very good players. And thanks again to We Play You Rate Pickleball. So let me just go ahead and rate them before the game ends. Right now the score is 7-7. Seven to seven. It's a very close game. Uh, they're obviously... 3.5 players at least. Oh, and David just missed pulling off the most humiliating shot in all of pickleball, that little dink that I don't think Tyler could have gotten to. But back to the rating, 3.5 for sure. Possibly 4.0. Again, this is a very small sample size. 
That's another error by Gill. I know Gill is a very, very good player, but out of the four players, if I was going to pick one to play with, oh, the player I would pick with, pick to play with is Nick, and right after I say that, he hits the serve right into the net. So, Nick, maybe I wouldn't ask you to join me. No, just kidding. I, I, I think you have fantastic pickleball skill, and it looks like Gil is just ready to go home. I know he's a much better player than he is exhibiting at this point. Oh, that was great. And Tyler hits it out. And Tyler hits another ball that I am pretty sure was going out. Sometimes it's just a natural defensive reaction to do something like that. But again, if you're back in the court like Tyler was and the ball is at your shoulder or at your eyes, chances are it's going out. So just turn and let it go out. Almost got it. Almost got it back. Again, um, David's paddle was at his knees. Couldn't get his paddle up in time to get that shot back. Now, there's no way Gil and David should lose this point. Oh, 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 look at this. Give the guy a trophy. Wins the game on an around the post. Fantastic athleticism by Nick. That won the game for him. Just what a time to pull off an around the post. It wins the game. Absolutely fantastic by Nick. He's a very, very good player. So there you have it, a game where the players were having a lot of fun, but still a game that provided some teaching moments. What grip do you use to hold your paddle? Do you hold your paddle out in front of you at about chin level, or do you hold it at your knees? Can you put topspin on the ball? Do you often hit balls that were going out of the court? Just a few things to consider that can help make you a better pickleball player. I really hope you learned something from watching this video. If you did, I hope you take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. That's all I've got for you today. Again, my name is Rory, and as always, see you on the courts.